What am I going to do with this man, Josh and Alexis? They just got exposed. They just got exposed to the max. I mean, guys, and to the kids that want us, that likes to support me in the gym for making a dunk, I don't know what to do with this video right now because me and Josh had a fight. And I don't even want to talk about it, but I have to. Because my thing is, this is about survival. So when you lie on my best friend Raheem, talking about he didn't make the layup, that Raheem fouling Josh, you put yourself in a position like, hold up. What I'm trying to say is, Josh is putting himself in a position to be taken advantage of. Now, without, now, what Raheem was doing by sticking defense on Josh to make sure to show Josh how easy it is for somebody else to make me get blocked and trucked. For real. You couldn't. You couldn't. Defend me on the court. And not somebody making shots on you with best friend love. I'm somebody making shots on you with passion. Josh ain't ready for the court. They ain't ready for Raheem or me. You saw that on the video. So... When me and Josh almost got into a fight, and my thing, this, this is about survival. Now, what I was doing by sticking defense on Josh to make, I was sticking defense on Josh to show him how easy it is for somebody else to defend me and foul me like it's 2K. So if you can defend me and I'm your best friend, how you gonna blame Raheem? How you gonna blame Raheem for following you? But you're so ready to play some football. Are you ready for basketball? Have you got through a football? No. But Joshua talk it. And I don't care if Josh get mad. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get a rematch with me in basketball again. I'll talk to the coach of my doggone self. You ain't ready for me, Josh. Because I, I, I ain't worried about him on basketball land. Not worried about, I'm, I ain't worried about Josh in these streets. Ain't going to change how I raise my ability. How I prepare my ability. How I can show Josh my attributes in basketball. Okay, before he tries out for basketball and sticking defense on me instead of him getting mad after the game. Exactly. You couldn't get away from Raheem and he was only sticking defense because that's the game. Because we have to stick on Josh with the ball because he always talked trash to me and Raheem. So I'm going to show, me and Raheem has showed him to talk trash back because he ain't hearing nothing. So now he got to experience this mess. And luckily Josh was experiencing it with me, your best friend, that watches me with the slam dunk contest and he will go to bat for him and will be on his team with him. Instead of getting mad after the game. He ain't ready for the basketball game. And he ain't ready for me and Raheem. You saw that in the gym. What he gonna do. So to all the trash talkers that worry about me and Josh and Raheem. Worry about yourself bro. Get your life. To the trash talkers with Josh. Get your life. Stop worrying about me. I'm not your slave, bro. I'm not trash, bro. Okay? We're, we're not cool if you talk about some, oh, Charles, this, this, that. Oh, oh, call it. No. What you're looking at is 
a 20 year old person who plays basketball is getting mad. They ain't ready for the streets and the haters are not ready for me. You saw down the video. What would Josh going to do? You want to get mad after the game because we won. Me and Raheem had teamed up. You don't know how we are. So what if Raheem defends you again and he trucks you back like you did to me? And somebody fouled you. Hard. Man, stop playing, man.